Hello, this is Donnie Smith, and today we are going to be talking about auto repair estimates. And this is the second part in uh, auto repair estimating for beginners. And this is what we're going to be talking about adding not included items. Now, I've already written an article for this, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to read it uh, for you. And that way, if you're like me, you may not like reading a lot, and much rather would watch a video like this. So, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, once you have all the information that you needed from the vehicle, uh, then you can take the information into the auto estimating area or office and then you complete it. Uh, the estimating guide, you know, you'll need to get one of those and be able to get all the information you need, need out of that. This is just an older estimating guide here, Mitchell estimating guide. And in here you have the, you know, the flat labor, labor time, the price for parts, uh, how, you know, diagrams of the parts, pictures, and you can kind of see the some of the different things you know for example you know here is a a, a grill it gives you the refinish time of this grill I don't know if you can see that but you know it gives you the refinish time the labor time and you know how much the part costs and you kind of see what the part looks like so all that is in here whenever we're doing these manually and this is what we're going to be going over right now before we get into computer generated estimates so uh, it's very important to know the nomenclature of a car, you know, know the names of the parts and abbreviations. For example, we may look in here and, uh, you know, it may say panel repair, uh, outer panel repairs for a door skin. You know, we know there's a door skin. It's not going to say that in here. So you kind of need to know there's some variations in there of the, of the names of the parts. And, and, you know, if we don't know what to look for, you know, it's going to be hard to really be able to write a thorough estimate. So uh, important uh, that you know the, the names. And, and abbreviations and a few of the abbreviations we're going to talk about today uh, first one is R and I and that stands for remove and install uh, what this is you know for example if you need to remove a door just to get access to be able to repair a damaged area you know that'd be R and I because you're just going to remove the door and you're going to install it uh, you don't have to to take all the glass out the hardware out you know, the door handle off because you're just going to be putting the same door back on. So this estimating guide is going to give you less time for that than, for example, what you would call R&R. &R. And that stands for remove and replace. Now this is where you're going to take the door off and you're replacing the door. So you're going to have to get all the glass, the hardware, you know, the latches, door handle out of the old door, and you're going to have to transfer that to the new door. And, you know, the estimating guide is going to give you more time allowed to do that. So that's the difference between R&R and R&I. And R and Another thing that uh, is, you'll see is OH, which stands for overhaul. And a lot of times, like on your assemblies, like your front and back com uh, bumper covers that, that come in assemblies, uh, overhaul is the time that it takes to completely disassemble and, re you know, assemble something back together. So that's uh, overhaul. So what I recommend doing is looking at your P pages, you know, and, and studying that thoroughly and learning the names of these parts and these abbreviations so that you know what they mean. And I don't want, to, you know, it's not good just to memorize, memorize the parts, you know, for example, R&R and R&I, &R 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 -R -R, remove and install, remove it in place. I mean, you actually need to be able to understand them and know what they mean. I mean, you need to know the difference uh, between R&I, &R &R. you know, it's just remove and, and install and why it takes longer to remove it in place. So you really need to memorize the name of the parts and also understand a little bit of, of what, you know, the process along with them. So what is included and what is not included in each operation? This is something that we need to, need to ask ourselves every time we add a line on the estimate that we're writing. Uh, this is where most mistakes are made when writing an estimate which results in, in dollars lost for the shop. Uh, there are tons of non-included operations that go unclaimed on most estimates and many times the estimator claims that they don't, don't put it on because the insurance company have refused to pay it and you know there is some truth behind that but it's usually because they did not write it on the estimate correctly. Uh, you must itemize each uh, procedure you know if you plan to get paid for it. You know it's like going to Walmart. Uh, have you ever went to Walmart and loaded your your basket up full of stuff and went to pay and, and check out and whenever they give you the amount you, I mean you think they're mistaking I and mean, you almost have a heart attack because you, cause you thought you didn't spend that much but you know they give you the receipt and you look at it and you can see the itemized uh, uh, receipt and it's, you know well yeah I did spend that I got that and then you realize that you know you just uh, spent more than you thought however what if they sent you a, a ticket or gave you a receipt 
and it just had one number on there, your total amount of $458. And, you know, you'd think they're mistaken, probably, or no, I'd probably argue with them and say, I didn't, you know, I didn't spend this much. When, in fact, I did. Well, insurance companies are kind of the same way. I mean, they want to be able to look at it and, and uh, you know, be able to read exactly what is being charged for. You know, they, uh, just a lump sum, they think it's too much, too when in fact usually it's not. So if you will take the time to itemize it, the insurance company will understand exactly why you're charging for the things that you are and uh, you know you have a lot better chances of being paid for it. So be sure and, and itemize each item on there. So how do you know what uh, items are not included and what, what, you know, what you can add on there? Well that's where this estimating guide comes in. This is where you can, uh, you can look in here and there are non-included items in here. Let me get up here to the front of it, and I'll get up here where you can see it. But you can see for R and I radar support. I mean R and R radar support. It gives you all the included items right here, and then it has all the non-included items over here. And you can see just about on every one of these operations, the the included items are a lot shorter, a lot less, and then the non-included items. So there are a lot of non-included items that that are on each thing that we do. So be sure when you're writing an estimate to go through and, and study your P pages, study your non-included operations and be able to see what's not included and add it. But remember to add it, you know, separately so that the, the insurance company knows exactly what you're trying to charge for and it's crystal clear to them and your chances of getting paid if you do that are, are a lot greater. So. Uh, for this lesson, the main thing that you need to do is be it just go ahead and get, you know look at your P pages, study the abbreviations, study your non-included items. Pretty well wraps up uh, part two, and I will talk to you uh, next time on part three.